Hey everybody, welcome back to a brand new Daily Cabral Concept Show. Excited to share with you some odd research. I literally call it a very strange study on hydrogen, water, and, and increased longevity. And the reason is, and I want to share this with you, and I always like to be very open and honest, is that in this study, it clearly shows, then this is a mice based model, that, and it was over three years, so it, was, it was not like this is a short-term mouse based study, it was over the life of the mice, that these mice live longer when given a very specific type of hydrogen water, less so when given a different type of hydrogen water and just normal life expectancy uh, if they were just given their normal mouse-based diet with regular tap water. So when we look at this, we say, okay, nothing was changed in terms of exercise, you know, meaning like the ability for the mice to move around. Nothing was changed in terms of their food. The only thing that was changed was that the first group of mice was given what they call electrolyzed hydrogen water. So that basically means it's a hydrogen water ionizer, and I want to explain the difference, that charges the water and it separates out oxygen, which can be acidic in the water, and hydrogen, which can be more alkaline. And so now it's not like super alkaline water. It's not, nothing to do with that. It's just more alkaline, but it contains more hydrogen. Okay. So that means then it has less um, free radicals is the best way to say it. Meaning like it's going to create less oxidative stress in the body. So if you drink hydrogen in water, it's going to have more of an antioxidant effect, which is great. Okay. So then the second group got hydrogen water as well. So alkaline water that used tablets from calcium magnesium to boost the alkalinity or hyd and hydrogen as well. Okay. The last was the regular water that all the mice get. Now, what was interesting is that the middle group did live longer than the, let's call it control group of the mice. And they were given hydrogen water, but through tablets. But the group that received the electrolyzed, the water ionizer, lived the longest by far. Like it was a stark difference. So when we look at this, I say, great, but like let's figure out mechanism of action. You know, why was this the case? And the authors actually said it was a bit strange. They, they literally were saying this about the study, and here's why. When they did autopsies of the actual mice after the three years, and they said, okay, you know, we expect to see different pathology of the organs in the mice that live longer versus the ones that just live normal life expectancy. And they didn't. They didn't necessarily see different amounts of organ damage, et cetera. So what they can say is this, is that based on the three-year survival study, this is what they said, based on the three-year survival study of the mice and the data was analyzed with accelerated failure time, they started starting from the second year of life, non-parametric survival plot suggests that the mice watered with alkaline water, that's both groups, showed a better survival than control mice. Interestingly, statistical analysis revealed that alkaline water provides higher longevity in terms of a deceleration aging factor as it increases the survival functions when compared with the control group. Namely, animals belonging to the population treated with alkaline water resulted in longer lifespan. So I, I'll be, again, I'll, like I said, I'll be very honest with you. I'm probably a little late to the game with hydrogen water. Uh, it hasn't been one of my top recommendations really before this year. And the reason was that I was really caught up with just the whole alkalinity of it, meaning that I'm not interested in giving someone a water pH of 11 and um, having them consume that when I know that, yes, it's going to be broken down by the stomach and all that. I know alkaline water does get better absorbed. That's, that's a proven clinical fact, but I didn't want to wash away the digestive acid. Acids. Now, taken away from meals, probably fine. But when we look at it, we're just talking about water that moves from about a seven to like an eight to a nine. So it's more alkaline, but not too alkaline to just consume throughout the day. Okay. So I started to look at that. But really, what put me over the edge was my own home based studies that I did on all different types of water using a potential hydrogen meter as well as an ORP meter. And I found time and time again, that hydrogen tablets, but namely a hydrogen water ionizer, which they quote in this study, enabled an antioxidant water, meaning a non-oxidized water. And so when we look at this study, although the authors didn't see anything from autopsy-wise, they showed that there's a deceleration aging factor, which is probably maybe even a more interesting thing to call this show, is that hydrogen water 
leads to a deceleration of aging. It slows things down. So for me, I need to know why. Like that's not good enough for me. So the authors then began to quote other studies. And they said, more recently, studies were carried out on alkaline reduced water. So again, that means electrolyzed water where it's split. The tablets are good. The shaker bottles for hydrogen are good, but it's not the same as a water ionizer that charges the water and splits it literally doesn't add more to it. It takes the water you have and it splits it between hydrogen and oxygen. And it allows then for more hydrogen and less oxygen, enabling a healthier pH of the water, which is going to be more absorbable, but mainly a more antioxidant based water. Now let's go on and let's re read what they say. So they say that hydrogen rich functional water has been introduced as a therapeutic strategy for health promotion and disease prevention. Again, not my words. This is science-based PubMed peer-reviewed research. All right. The next one is this, because it took me a long time to get here, but I just want you to know that like it took me a long time to start to say, all right, there's something to this. The next part is this alkaline and electrolyzed water have, and again, one and the same, a hydrogen ionizer is electrolyzed water. It adds that charge. Um, it exerts a suppressive effect on free radicals levels living in organisms, thereby resulting in disease prevention. So there's less oxidative stress, which means there's less inflammation. Let's go on, let's go on to read what they say. Various biological effects, such as anti-diabetic and antioxidant actions, DNA protecting effects, and growth stimulation activities, meaning when, a, when it's a young child or young offspring, they did this with animals, uh, not just mice. Although a variety of bioactive functions have been reported, the effect of alkaline water, the ionized water, on lifespan and longevity in vivo is still unknown. So again, still looking, it's tough to do, you know, as we start to look at more human-based studies. Animal alkalization has been shown to be well tolerated and to increase tumor response to metronomic chemotherapy as well as quality of life in pets with advanced cancer. I want to get to that study in just a second. So we have some studies on humans. So I just want you to state that there are human studies that show that high hydrogen electrolyzed water improves anti antioxidant effects blood sugar regulation, brain cognition, exercise, endurance, and more. And I'll, I'll share more of those. I don't want to go overboard on this uh, by any means, but this is pretty impressive. So I'm going to give you a couple studies. I'm not going to go in depth on them. For those people that like to go a little bit more, I'm going to link all of these studies up at stephencabral.com slash 3128. But if you really want my recommendations on what I'm doing right now, free article, all my research videos at stephencabral.com slash hydrogen dash water. And hydrogen is H-Y-D-R-O-G-E-N. So it's stephencabral.com slash hydrogen dash water. And I can link that up here today at 3128 as well. Okay. Anti-diabetic effect on alkaline reduced water on these rats. So here's what they showed. Over 12 weeks, these mice were given um, hydrogen water, high pH high hydrogen water. Total cholesterol and triglyceride levels were found to be significantly lower than those of the control group. And when they looked at this, they also looked at glucose. So now we're almost seeing an entire metabolic syndrome being improved with this hydrogen water. Now, I do want to make a note here that it's not like one glass a day. So I've got my mason jar here. This is how I drink my own hydrogen water not one glass. This is what you use for your water. So when you're using hydrogen water for your coffee, for your tea, for your regular water, just like the mice get, that's what they consume in a day. So it's all hydrogen-based water. So I just want to state that. And, and with a hydrogen ionizer, there's no limit to the amount of water. You can just use as much water as you want. But it improved their blood sugar levels, improved their triglycerides, and improved total cholesterol. Why? Because it helps with inflammation and free radical damage. Okay, next study. And again, if you want to go deeper, great, I'm going to link them up for you. The mechanism of the enhanced antioxidant effects against superoxide anion radicals of reduced water produced by electrolysis. All that to say is this, is that when they looked at the DNA, they found that the DNA strands were less harmed in individuals that consumed 
hydrogen ionized water. So the electrically charged water. All right. The next one is the same as above. Same research, same findings. It was, the study was called the electrolyzed reduced water scavenges active oxygen species. Just think of that as free radicals. Every time you hear reactive oxygen, just think of free radicals and protects DNA from oxidative damage. All right. Next study. And I apologize if this is mispronounced, but the um, former here. High dose lanzoprazole combined with metronomic chemotherapy. A phase one, two study in companion animals with simultaneously occurring tumors. Okay. So they're looking at giving these animals chemotherapy, but some of them got the electrolyzed hydrogen water. Okay. So this is, this is fascinating. I think that this is important to look at. All right. So this is a, um, two control groups, 24 companion animals, 22 dogs and two cats were treated by adding their uh, chemotherapy to a pump at a high dose and a water alkalizer. Their responses were evaluated and here are the results. The protocol was overall well tolerated. Only two dogs experiencing side effects due to gastric hypochlorhydria consisting of uh, loose stool and throwing up essentially is what they said. That means that when you raise a pH too high, let's just say like a 11 or 12 for your water. It could cause reduction in stomach acid and make you throw up. I agree, totally agree with that, by the way. All right. So in terms of overall response, in the alkalized cohort, that means the hydrogen water group, 18 out of the 24 had partial or complete responses. Two patients had a stable disease of the remaining patients experienced no response or progressive disease. On the other hand, only one patient in the control group experienced a complete response, 10%. So let's make this simpler. 75% of the animals, 22 dogs and two cats, responded to hydrogen water positively. 75% responded positively. Three-fourths. Only 10%, one-tenth, responded um, in the non-hydrogen-based group. That's a, that's a significant difference. So this is also... Again, not just because of this study, but my dog, my dog Bachi, gets hydrogen water as well. The difference, he gets 7.0. So dogs, a little bit more stomach acid, more they should be drinking water that's more neutral. 7.0 difference is though, when it comes from an ionizer, you can control the pH and it can still be antioxidant-based water, non-ionized. So again, I don't know, this might be overboard for some people. It might be a little bit too in the weeds. I think you're going to hear more about this. I really do. And so on the Cabral Concept, a daily show, I like to bring you the best of what's out there. And right now, uh, again, I wasn't talking about this for years. And I'm I, like I said, I would rather be late to the game. And I never want to make a recommendation that has negative side effects. That's why, you know, I'll wait, I'll wait a bit. I want to see the actual research. I want to see this play out. And I don't jump on the fads and I never have. But this is something that is really helping people from an anecdotal model that we see in our practice and also science-based as well, that there is a deceleration aging factor going on here with the electrolyzed hydrogen water. Now, again, I want to be fair. Hydrogen shaker bottles and hydrogen tablets do work, but they do not work as well as hydrogen ionizers or hydrogen ionized water that charges the water. Now, we don't exactly know, and there might be, there's, there's reasons, meaning one uses calcium magnesium and gases to um, allow for the increase in that hydrogen. Uh, the other one uh, takes the water that you already have, and it takes more of its own natural essence, right? It takes more of its own hydrogen and gets rid of more of the oxygen. When you're using the tablets, it doesn't necessarily get more of the oxygen, it just adds more of the hydrogen. That could be one of the big reasons, because when you get some, rid of some of the um, oxygen, you get rid of what? some of the oxidative stress. And so this could be one of those big breakthroughs as to why people are getting better results with a hydrogen ionizer. So hopefully this was helpful. I love this type of research. If you enjoy it too, I would love to hear from you. I sometimes feel like I'm the only one. Uh, feel free to comment below. I would love to hear from you on social media, on YouTube. Uh, it means a lot. I love being able to check in with the community, what you're looking for, what topics you would like to hear in the future. And also, if you want the exact reverse osmosis filter, water filter that I use for my family, um, as well as the hydrogen ionizer that I use, 
head on over to stephencabral.com slash hydrogen dash water. All the research is there. All the actual studies are there. My um, videos that show you live what is going on are there. So if you're someone that enjoys this, wants to take your health to the highest level for you and your family, check it out. stephencabral.com slash hydrogen dash water. Hope you're well. I'll talk with you tomorrow on The Cabral Concept. Take care. Thanks so much for tuning into today's show. Before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I want to make sure that you're getting our daily content, not missing out on anything. Functional medicine, wellness, weight gain, weight loss, anti-aging, living longer, stronger, and all of the most cutting edge research. And if there's any topics you want to hear, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Take care.